This is a very large work that was in a show in 2010, so it's 4.8 metres wide by 200 high, all pelican background books. Once again, when I say the image, I mean, it's a very simple butterfly image. Everyone can relate to it. It gives it its punch. Its size gave it its punch. But if you go into the back, it, it, it's, it's, it's from a show called Adaptation. And the, um, the hook for that show was great books that have been turned into great films, at least in my mind. So it was full of, um, it was full of works, you know, the classics. I'm sure they're still taught in school today. This one's Papillon, but I did works based on Lord of the Flies, To Kill a Mockingbird, 1984. Um, Fahrenheit 451, you know, the Godfather book, Streetcar Named Desire, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It was sort of my list, my bee's knees of great books that, and being a film nut that had been turned into films. So this work was the centrepiece for that show, the big work for it. Nominally it's based on Papillon, but I mentioned before there's a political element often in my work. It's, this is obviously heavily, you know, influenced by the concept of climate change, um, sort of the anti-science move mood which is sort of prevailing through the political spectrum on various levels. So essentially this was an ode to, you know, to science and a belief in science or at least a trust in science and not having it denigrated. So the background is Pelican books on history of evolution, all sorts of weather patterns, um, some reprinted on the left you'll see some big um, Pelican book covers which I had reprinted on old drop sheets. So they were old drop sheets that are paint splattered and covered with all sorts of splatters, oil marks on them that look a lot like the foxing you get on old old book pages, so that added to their element. And then the left-hand side is built out of maybe thousands, I can't remember how many stamps I used, but these are individual stamps, once again, bought in pages and sheets off eBay. They're all US stamps, so it's alluding to US being the major power, major polluter, but also it losing its, its role to China, for example. Um, so there's book pages in the background there on China as well. On the left-hand side, you've got some imagery from Maybridge, the famous photos that were taken back in the 1900s of animals that were done with um, old still cameras. Edward Maybridge, who did all the motion studies. So once again, alluding back to science, if, if, if you're going, you can't see it on this slide, it's being so big. So each, this work is in a giant perspex case and everything is pinned as well. So every stamp is pinned. So it also, on that other level, if you keep layering it, it's also like a giant museum case with each little stamp um, pinned like a butterfly and also just lay it out slightly, giving it depth. Martin Sharp, a very old dear friend of my family, passed away last year. My father and he go back to the early 60s. A portrait of him, once again, we get down to, a, I'm hoping, a striking image that's just lovely from a distance, a biggish work, 2.4 metres. On either side, very dense collage, paper-based rulers, all things relating to Martin's life in London. Um, the swinging 60s, the background is the Wizard of Oz, you know, once again, an obvious um, pun, but the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Martin also gave me original Oz magazines. So they're all sort of plastered up in the corner here and bits and pieces here. So they're sort of filtered through it. References to Tiny Tim, references over here to Luna Park, um, which was one of Martin's obsessions. Um, very pop art. Martin was a huge influence on me as a kid growing up. Our walls were covered with Nimrod posters and all his stuff from the you know, 70s, mainly 70s work. Portrait of my father from the Archibald of a while back now. Um, these works, there's no depth, there's no real build up at all. They're literally a flat plane with a painting. With the Archibald, I discovered early on that there was no point trying to inject too much um, you know, into it other than you know, just do a big painting, as you're probably all aware. So this is basically just a painting. And the left is just the shots from the family table, sitting around the table with the dad and the whole, my whole family pretending to smoke. Well, a lot of them smoking, um, and all us kids pretending to smoke. The whole family smoked. I've stopped years ago, but uh, my father has emphysema and he still smokes heavily. So this was a, you know, a dig at him to maybe uh, think about his longevity. But quite a lovely work, quite a detailed work. But once again, you know, it's painted off an overhead projector. Another Archibald back portrait of my friend Aidan Young. Once again, essentially a huge collage, 3.6, I think. By 2.4, meant to be a, you know, a, a Aiden lives, was living down the road for me in Marrickville. It's a funny gag between, he's like a, he's a lovely, like a superstar, a movie star, living in Marrickville. Down the road, we share this, you know, go to the same daycare centre, go to the same place, and I just love that idea of the movie star 
you know, living an ordinary life, wandering up and down, frequenting the same, you know, shopping centres. Um, La Metro Presents up here is our local shopping centre. Uh, we lived on Addison Road, so it was an Addison and Addison production. Um, and the translation is Once Upon a Time in the Inner West, um, you know, which is a play on him being... And the, the image is sort of a lift of a, of a poster of Steve McQueen from the 60s, a famous film. 